Hey everybody, this is Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. This is my third part to my Amazon seller app how-to videos. I'm going to talk mainly about restricted hazmat and slow-moving ASIN options and how you can see that when looking at your Amazon seller app. When you first come to the home screen of your Amazon seller app, you're going to go to the upper right hand corner to the camera and click that, scan your item, and then come to the product page. I'm going to show you multiple product pages of different items that have those different options, restricted, hazmat, and slow moving ASIN. If for some reason you can't get your item to scan, go to a previous product listing, go to the bottom left hand corner where you see the barcode scanner, click that, and sometimes you can get the item to scan with the barcode scanner. So how do I know something is restricted? Easy. It says it right across the picture. Restricted product, which means your particular account cannot sell in this product's category. This is not for everyone. As soon as you become in ungated or opened up in a specific category, you'll no longer see that on that particular category. I had a couple of categories where I was previously gated, and then as soon as I got approval from Amazon to sell in those categories, the, I no longer saw the restricted bar across my picture when I scanned those items the next time. Restricted simply means that you're not allowed to sell this product at all, not even on Merch Fulfill. So you can't sell it FBA or Merch Fulfill. Please do not try to sell a restricted product because they have the option of banning your Amazon account if you sell in that particular category. Sometimes it's a manufacturer requirement that they need to be the exact manufacturer in order to sell that item. So do not sell a restricted product or try to sell a restricted product because it could be very dangerous for the future of your Amazon account. The next category I'm going to go over is hazmat. There are a lot of things that are considered hazmat, which means the Amazon FBA warehouse doesn't want them. That still means sometimes that you can sell it merch fulfill, which means you sit it on your shelf, wait till it sells, and then you ship it out yourself. It's just simply an item that the Amazon warehouse doesn't want in its large facilities, and so they consider it hazmat, and they won't allow you to send it into FBA. But that doesn't always mean that you can't sell it at all. I'm going to be looking at a perfume item because I know most perfumes are completely hazmatted. And so we're going to click on this first one here, the Versace Bright Crystal by Gianni. And so we're going to see that and I'm going to show you exactly how I know that it's hazmatted. When I click on this perfume item, you can see right away that it is restricted, but we're not going to talk about that right now. I want you to look on the right hand side of the screen right next to the picture and you can see the little warning label. We're going to click on that warning label and see what that tells us. Now when I click on that warning label, this is the next screen that it brings me to. It has the title of the item at the top. It says FBA eligibility. This product is not currently eligible for FBA because product regulated as dangerous goods or hazmat. I've had this happen to me usually on perfumes, any kind of aerosol cans, and sometimes uh, pesticides will be hazmatted. So things of that nature usually they don't want at the big Amazon warehouse. But that doesn't mean that you can't merch fulfill some of them. So if I would have pulled up this product and it didn't have the big restricted across the picture, I could have possibly sh um, sold it merch fulfill. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the slow-moving ASIN. There are various reasons that there are slow-moving ASINs. A lot of times a slow-moving ASIN is simply a listing that nobody has ever purchased from or purchases from very little, and so the warehouse doesn't want to store it. Another reason for a slow-moving ASIN is sometimes the warehouse has so many of them and they're not moving fast enough that they don't want you to send any more in. The biggest thing about the slow-moving ASIN is you can sell it, Merchant Fulfilled, uh, from your shelf, but you cannot send it into the FBA Amazon warehouse. Now you usually get this orange warning on the initial listing, but if you don't see that, then I'll show you the, the uh, product page and you'll be able to see the warning there. Now if you look at this seamstress pattern, you notice that with the picture, of course, there's another uh, warning icon that I'm going to click on to find out what is the warning about this. Now I already know it's a slow moving ASIN, but let's see what it says on the other side of this click. Yep, exactly what we thought. This product is not currently eligible for FBA because it has an inventory alert. It is a slow moving ASIN. That does not mean that you cannot sell it Merchant Fulfill, and sometimes I have sold things Merchant Fulfilled, but it's highly unlikely you're going to sell your Merchant Fulfill item before you, the person on the Amazon FBA or the warehouse sells theirs. 
I hope through this series you've learned a lot on the reasons you can and cannot send in to Amazon FBA and some of the ways that I do a lot of my pricing. So this video showed you about restricted hazmat and slow moving ASIN. And I, if you haven't watched part one and part two of my how to Amazon seller app, please check that out. I got a lot of good info on there. If you're not subscribed, please become a subscriber. Ask me any question you'd like. I'd love to make a video on it. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.